Down, boss. Don't make me regret giving you some time out there in the streets with the guys, Carlo. You don't have to worry about me. I know I don't. Tommy does that for me. I'll keep your driver safe, boss. Bona Fortuna, boys. Sam and little Bill said to meet him downtown. You okay, Carlo? Looking kind of like you shake yourself. Ah, get bent. Big moment, huh? Finally running with the pack. Listen, I spend more time with Adon than all of you've put together. Sure, sure. Sat out on the road, wait till he's finished with his broad. <laughs> if, if you don't want me to come, I won't. It's fine. Boss doesn't have to know. Nah, you're coming. The boss said you're coming. Just, you got a face like you're being taken for an errand. I don't want Gates thinking we're frails. Why is Gates selling Morello anyways? First time Gates pulled in with his trucks, Morello decided to change up the terms. The big guy himself popped him in the nose as part of their renegotiation. His nose is gonna get more in a pop if Morello hears we're involved. That's why we're pretending to stick him up. Then he'll go back to his pop and tell a sob story about being robbed at gunpoint. He'll convince his old man that Morello can't protect the merchandise. They'll need to find a new buyer out here, and he's heard of a stand-up guy named Salieri. This plan is some bullshit, Tom. Polly told it to me yesterday, and somehow it's gotten worse. Hey, when you get a lead for the boss, and you don't just drive him places, then, then you get to pick holes. Till then, shut your damn mouth. Ah, whatever helps you sleep. When Morello tracks you down, don't come crying to me. You serious? You actually serious? Fellas, knock it off. Christ. A little rusty behind the wheel, Tommy. Watch the route! Watch it!
do a lot of deals here. Parking attendant don't ask for much dough. Always closes up shop till I'm done. Okay, we're good. Gates is waiting up on the top floor. Seems clear so far. Only people with cars are people with jobs. Nine to five, place is deserted. Well, we got jobs and we're here. That kind of a job, sure. Anything else we need to know about Gates, Polly? Only that he's got a bust up nose and crates full of the good stuff. Our kind of guy. Our kind of guy. Park up over there. Polly, good to see you, pal. Yeah, you too, Gates. Well, I hope you all have good taste in whiskey. I ain't really the expert here. Tommy. First payment. If the Don's impressed, he'll finance more runs. And each one's gonna be bigger than the last. We're all gonna be rich, boys. Well, we're always happy to do business with good folks like Don Salieri. Please, give him my regards. Sure thing. Now we just gotta conclude this transaction. <laughs> No, no! It's okay. Oh, what? I told you we gotta make it look like a proper robbery. Damn thing's gonna be crooked by the time I'm done with this city. Ah, don't worry, pal. With all the dough you're raking in, you're gonna be able to pay for a new one. <laughs> Watch out! took a bullet. If this ain't as bad as it looks, now take the booze and get. My guys will come for me. Now go, go, go! So long as you guys clear him out up ahead, I'll be safe here with the little guy. Carlo, in the cab with me. You know you stead. Tommy, check for more of them. This thing ain't over. Come on, I'll back you up! We got more of them! Reloading! They got another train car! They got backup! There's no way to these guys! Ah!
Close and keep moving, fellas. Keep the boost safe. I'm going to trap over. You. you see more if you shoot him. Set of wheels and watch my back. Sure, Sam. How the hell did Morello hear about my deal? All kinds of beefers in this city. For now, let's get the booze back to the warehouse and try not to die. I knew it! We got more guys on us! Okay, let's slow them down some. Hit him where it hurts! Another motor! 
They're coming after the bull's truck! Them all. Thank Christ for that. Let's head home. See what we got. We got the booze. I mean, I know it didn't go to plan, but we got the booze. Yeah. So tonight, me and you are gonna drink a bunch of it. I guess we earned that much. Looks like a 38. Morello's boys caught up with you? Yeah, boss. We took care of it. What about the kid from Kentucky? Well, he took a slug to the shoulder, but uh, he's a tough blocker. He and his crew dusted out as soon as we bumped off Morello's hatchet, man. Getting shot will give Gates and his pop another reason to ice Morello out of the whiskey business. Well, let's see if this hooch was worth all the trouble. Excellent. I'll work out the details with Papa Gates. But once we're running this Kentucky Brown, we'll be back in brass buttons. Good work, son. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of all of you. Saludo! Saludo! Sounds like Salieri was getting ready to make his move. Working up to it, maybe. But then, prohibition ended. And a bootlegging business got knocked on its ass. All oh, that fighting over booze, man, next to nothing. It took us a few years to recover. But when we did bounce back, boy, it was something. We took what dough we had from the moonshine and Canadian whiskey and invested it into new records. Some of them even legal. Construction, restaurants, trucking, gambling. We branched out into everything, except peddling dope. And by 35, things were looking up. We had good money rolling in on the regular. I had a wife and daughter. Sam was running a club for the Don. Even Polly had a few records of his own. It wasn't exactly happy, but what do you call it then? Content. Yeah, that was it. And Celieri, he finally starts talking about getting out of Morello's shadow. Maybe buying our own cops, our own politicians. Hmm. That's interesting. You think Celieri was sourcing high binders in 34? Maybe. Why? Well, a few years back, the voice squad got a judge on solicitation of a minor. Once in the box, he started confessing all sorts of misbehaving, trying to get a deal. But he copped to taking kickbacks from Rollo and your man Salieri. 
playing him off one another, trying to goose the take. But once Morello found out, he threatened to bury the judge's kids on the beach, still breathing, of course. Christ. That was the missing piece. How's that? Morello was always winding us up, but he never did anything that might start an all-out war. Learning Celieri was building his own bench must have finally tipped his scales, because in 35, he hit us with both barrels. of his face and pasted it hey, on his face. Tommy. Oh, hey, boss, what's going on? I'm glad you're here. There you go, boss. I'm going to Pepe's for lunch, but Carlo called in sick. You up for a drive? Sure, boss. Bravo. I'm already starving. You got a piece on you? Yeah. You think I'll need it? Eh, you know how it is. Things with Morello have been a little quiet lately. Maybe it's just got me jumpy, is all. It's found somehow under her bed. So, I kind of see her. There's no more room under my bed. Am I so wrong? So, how's business, Tom? Hey, you know how it is. It's good. Sure, I know the business. I see the books every day. But since what happened, happened, I know that a capo needs to talk to his soldiers without some other guy getting in the way. I guess we're mixing with a better sort of person now. And I like dealing with all these big shots we got on the pad. Anything's better than those grifters trying to shift their hooch before the 21st went through. Ah, this is only the start of it, Tom. I got plans. Plenty of good people lining up for a slice. Glad to hear it. Must be nice for you, sometime away from Polly and his cockamamie schemes. Uh, that's a better conversation, boss. I'll give you that. <laughs> sure I am. Me, Sam, and Polly, though, we're still real tight. We've been through some times together. Yeah, don't I know it. More wine here, please, quickly. <laughs> You're going to love this wine. It's a... Don Solieri. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> Good to see you, Pepe. Yes. Hey, come. Our guest has arrived, eh? What's on the menu today? My mother. She would be so honored if you tried her caponada. Excellent. Bravo, bravo. Oh, Benny. Oh, let me get you a chair for you, huh? <laughs> See, please. And to drink a Chianti. I've been saving this just for you. Yeah, bene, bene, bene. Okay. Huh? Uh, enjoy, huh? I'm glad you're off the rough, Tom. 
Uh, Sarah threatened to leave me if I didn't dry out. I know. She told you? No. I put her up to it. Drunkards get sloppy, Tom. I didn't want you to make a mistake we couldn't live with. <laughs> ah, for you? In the for you. Ah, <laughs> Peppy, the meal is a masterpiece as always. <laughs> Molto grazie, Don Salieri. Praise from such a gourmet as you, it filled me with joy. Uh, you wouldn't call me a gourmet if you knew what I had for supper. <laughs> Get down! Let me finish my wine. Hey, Salieri! Come out of there and we'll make this quick. Smoke them out, Joe. Shit, watch out! going out the front door. Can you move? Not fast enough. We're gonna ambush these boys. I'll keep them entertained while you slip out the back and circle around. You sure, boss? Blow them all down, Tommy. Not one of them goes home tonight. Okay, boss. Be careful. Tom, just be quick about it.
Don't sell Yuri! Boss! It's clear! Oh, look at the balls on this kid. You really saved my ass, Tom! We gotta go, boss. The cops will be here soon. I need a minute to catch my breath. Well, let me get you back to the bar. No, not the bar. We're going to see Carlo. That son of a bitch knew where I was going today, and he calls in sick. He set you up. <sighs> to us, Tom, you could have ended up just as dead. Yeah, I know, boss. Carlo's shacked up with some Damon Holbrook. Let's go see what he has to say about all this. Step on it, Tom. Every minute Carlo's still breathing is a minute that's got me pissed. Sure, boss. Can't believe these bastards had the brass balls to wreck my car. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was... What's with you driving like a moron? Cops, Jesus Christ, last thing we need. Okay, arrest the guy. The guy's gotten away in North Park someplace. Had to be Carlo, didn't it? His pop was tight with Morello right when we started out. Apple don't fall far from the tree, huh? I wept at his funeral. At his sons, I'll be laughing loud. His mom's already a widow, Tom, and now he's gonna make her lonely till the day she dies. For what? Some dough to buy his dope? And my foot through his face. You know what? I'm glad. I'm glad this happened. I get to plug another rat, and we finally go to the mattresses with Morello. Today's the day that damn breaks. Sure feels like it. You take a guy in, you give him a place in your family, you give him respect, and this, this is how he repays you? If he's done this, what else has he squealed on? The farm, the betting house, the ambush at the parking garage, any of them could have been him. Why don't you let me go first, huh? Carlo might be waiting for us. No, Tom, my face is going to be the first and last thing this bastard sees. <laughs> what the fuck? You goddamn dirty grifter. You better dangle, sweetheart. It's gonna be a closed casket, Carlo. <laughs> Okay, bus. Oh, yeah, just a little one. Let me catch my breath. Ah! Jesus, he's fast for a big guy. Don't let him get away! Uh, 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 uh. Help! Help me, someone! Come back here, Carlo! They're going to kill me! Hey, we ain't finished with you! Tommy, please! I can explain! Think about this, Tom! Please! Let me talk to the boss! I can explain everything! Uh, Tommy, you gotta know! Bro, he was gonna kill Mom! I had to do it! I had to! They made me... Is he still alive? I'm not sure. Sergio, how are you? Keeping out of trouble? Sure. Who's this? Wait a minute. 
Is that Gordy? It is. Hey, Gordy, how you doing, buddy? Hotly recognized you. What'd he do? You said you were having some trouble down at the docks, right? Yeah, but it's nothing I can't handle. Yeah, well, he did some asking around. This asshole was planning a strike. Strikes are no good for business. Unless you don't want to call him for it, right? <laughs> right. So I decided the union needed a change in leadership. Is that all right with you? Of course. Yeah. Now, what about that uh, other thing? That's why I'm here. Salieri's still alive. God damn it! What happened? I don't know yet. Crew we sent is dead. Restaurants all shot to hell. Step your cried. Trying to have a conversation here. What about uh, the cockroach Carlo? Found him with his head smashed in like a fucking watermelon. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> so the already must have figured Carlo was the rat. God damn it. <laughs> Even hear myself think. It's gonna be a war. I told you to shut the fuck up! <laughs> We've been at war since we killed Papone. It's just out in the open now. What do you want me to do? Make your rounds. Tell the boys to keep their eyes peeled and the powder dry. Okay. Put the word out. Hey. Just uh, keep your head down, little brother. You too, Don Morello. We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Morello tried to kill the Don. Not Tommy, not Polly, not anyone regular. The Don. Oh, it's gonna be war. Hey, you need it up the stairs. I'll go straight up. It's war, Tom. From today, we are at war. Haven't seen any trouble just yet. True, the Don slipped Carlo the bump, not you? Yeah. It wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Blessing Carlos. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. Lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our businesses. How about people under our protection? Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Merle's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morello's sinking ship. We bump off the right engine. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. Pulling out all the stops, booths, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. 
None of the other fellows are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay. I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew will be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore. Sam and Paulie are down the docks working on that. You meet up with them there, and they'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Born a Fortuna, Tom. But Vinny told me I gotta stay around the bar for my own sister's safety. from a presidential address delivered earlier this year. This is part of our series looking back over the president's plans and results since his inauguration. Our responsibility is to all of the people in this country. This is a great national crusade. A crusade to destroy forced idols which is an enemy of the human spirit generated by this depression. Our attack upon these enemies must be without stint and without discrimination. No sexual, no political distinctions can be permitted. It must, however, be recognized, and I know you will recognize it, that when an enterprise of this character is extended over more than 3,100 counties throughout the nation, there may be occasional instances of inefficiency, bad management, or misuse of funds. When cases of that Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. You know how to drive that thing. You better hope I do. It's what's gonna save your ass once Galati's head is popped. 
Sam's over by the dock buildings figuring out how to get you on board. The finest family in the city. No doubt my... Who's done more? And all this after the loss of his... Terrence! You got an invite, too? Oh, did you hear there's gonna be fire? You don't look like a guy with an invite. Uh, I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. The sailor back there who works on the steamer, his head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him. I know you'd get a real a job someday. Situation. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati speak. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati speech and pop him when he's done. How do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. Will come soon as we've seen. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Good time. The outfit don't get messed up. Keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? He sure is shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? He's gonna need a guardian angel. He don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy, I'm from out of town. I can find the janitor. Back it up, old. Drunk as a skunk in the engine. Same as always. Figures. Thanks.
took your time. Tommy, right? I hid the gun in the jam in the stern. Mid deck. Where's third? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, uh, I get that. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat for starters. You got some. You should be here! Come get it! <laughs> Son of a. <laughs> 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 Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hey, thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son, Billy, left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday. And for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh?
Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. Well, get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car, he'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. 
Nah, no, he won't. He goes with his gut. There's one thing he's got, it's gut. He'd see all of Little Italy. From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations are consolidating their power. The competition between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this at Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated, well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cop is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to explore the police and lawmakers. That sadly doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most, and did so even at the height of the depression. We need so help right away. Officers downtown. No fellow near you is driving like a madman. Without sin. As we have seen in Long Kevin, standing up to the mob can be a dangerous game. Suspected mob hits carried out against officials in a number of American cities attest to that. What are our state and federal governments doing to ease public concern? What can we expect from J. Edgar Hoover and his BOI, now renamed the Federal Bureau of Investigations? He's gone. Go back to patrols. We'll get him next time. Disregard for human life. We shall let you know if we ever receive answers to these questions. This concludes our special report. Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you wanna go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place.
Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, no, no. It all went bad. Hey, pull it together, Tom. Whatever happened, happened. There's nothing you can do about it now. Sergio's luck is running out. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? Sam and Paulie have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Okay. assassination of city councillor Roberto Gilotti. Gilotti was gunned down while giving a speech at his own birthday party aboard the paddle steamer Lost Heaven Queen. According to eyewitness reports, the assassin made a daring escape by motorboat, aided by a number of associates, all under the cover of a lavish fireworks display. The public nature of the slaying, as well as the degree of professionalism with which it was carried out, have led... Tara, you okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go! What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! First we Don't take you out like you and it's your boss! Come on, Tad! Stop these bugs! You enjoying your meal? Grab the special fellas! Stay behind you! Get me out of here! We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed!
get it! Run it, Sam! Go get it!
Oh, what? Oh, what? 